Hello everyone, welcome to TechEQA channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how to test push notification. Okay, so last video we have seen like how to do a, a like root cause the Android crash and how can we see the detail of crashes. Like basically, uh, getting the logs of crashes from the crash analytics, uh, Firebase crash analytics. So Firebase, which is like a Google backend, uh, so we can use it for mobile, like mobile development and all. So most of the applications started using this already they are using it because it's like kind of a plug and play so whatever whatever services we need like we can plug like we can just uh, implement the SDK and we can start using it okay so just one bundle we can use multiple features that is called five ways so we have seen the crash analytics and we are going to see how to test push notification with the same firebase uh, console so if you are getting a, a request or a task to test push notification so basically what do you do uh, like there should be some backend or api to send push notification right so if if they are using firebase you should ask them uh, access for the uh, firebase like dev access or something like that production they may not give you because production there will be a lot of production user also mistakenly if you send a bulk push notification it will go to everyone there is a, there is a way to test on the production also it's not like a bulk only you can send you can just select a user so how we are going to do and what and all we need for that we are going to see for that we are going to use uh, the application which is uh, hire my team it's a referral job portal if you are not trying it please try it out if you're an employee you can post job from your team and company if you are a job seeker you can just view and apply the job with email client that's uh, simple just click uh, just like uh, you can for example technical recruiter job in noida you can just click and apply you can select a gmail okay you can uh, attach a resume and send it that's so just three click you can apply the job there is no more detail we are collecting okay let's go to the topic uh, how to test push notification with this application that's how we need okay i'm just uh, get the firebase access then like last time we have seen the crash statistics and performance right yeah now just go down there is an engage model okay if you build one just hide it engage model that is a cloud message okay just click on the cloud message uh, initially you you will you will see like uh, maybe if i delete like get that uh, board. delete notification let's see yeah so this is how you will get a dashboard so uh, that's why I, ju I just deleted so when you're opening first time if there is no uh, like a um, notification channel created already you will see this just click on send your first message okay so what title do you need like uh, like in the notification there will be a title and uh, message and there there will be image also okay so title like i am putting hire my team and uh, notification i'm just uh, uh, just giving some description get get rougher and get higher okay just like just a description smaller one you can add an image also that's we that we can see how to add image later and when you click send message see this is how it will show hire my team get you can see the preview here and uh, image also you can see this this is how so as of now this application we have implemented only the background push notification in our push notification not at that maybe uh, I will tell you how, how how it will be, but it's not implemented. Just for your information, when you are clicking send message, it will ask a device ID, test on device. So we need a device ID. Where do we get it? Okay, you got a console, everything, but device ID without device ID, you can't. Get. So if you are using a database uh, to store the device ID, you just go to the database and see if there is any user uh, profile or uh, token table is exists or just ask your dev team it's it's nothing wrong in asking uh, them and confirming where do we store the tokens in the db okay or if you are using if they are using a five base or something see for example in my case i'm just storing it in a uh, uh, five store database in token so there will be a collection called token device id so here is the token so let let me i'm just copying this whole value Okay, after copy, I can maybe so update it. 
So how how they are handling uh, to get the token? That is a developer task. Maybe I can show you later. So just get it and uh, go to cloud messaging. Send your first message. Okay, this we didn't save, right? Go on. So it's fine. That's why we we'll save it. Get refer and get higher. Okay, send message. Just a token. See this same token only. I'm just showing you. Just when you are adding it, so it's it just so same, right? But still, if you are if you want to test on the different device, you can check it. Okay, so you like you you know right your test device which one it is. So in the DB also it will show like your email or some device detail, uh, device brand or something like that. Based on that you can shout out. Anyway, if it is dev, you no need to worry. You can send it to everyone also. That may annoy someone, but just choose the device it properly. And when you click test, you need to wait and see the notification. With sound, you will get a notification. Okay. Yeah, as I said, <laughs> background in uh, in app we haven't implemented. We need to check on the background. Okay, that's why we didn't get it. So I'm just. I have just choose the device. Uh, sorry, what is that uh, token and uh, send the messages? I don't know what happened. Let me choose both. So I should uh, get a icon also here with sound. I will get it. Is there any internet issue or something? That's why I have selected both. Look like both are same, but still G16. Ah, they both are different actually. Okay, just for a uh, confirmation, maybe I can uh, I can build the application again. Okay, so that it will solve the problem. Okay, so we are getting uh, uh, device ID is fine. Token is yeah, token is fine. Okay, let me build the app once again so that there might be some issue. So this all can happen in the dev build actually. Okay, so that's why we need to check it. Yeah, the application build successfully, and uh, let's go to Firebase build. I think we should have deleted this. So 1229 generated. Yeah, time also 1229. Copy everything token. Now go to uh, cloud messaging and just yeah, I am writing test description something. Let's see, we can. I'm just adding this. Yeah, these both are same. Let me go to a background and test it. Yeah, see, I think this notification came when you are dragged down. Hire my team, test description. Okay, when you are changing something, just clear it, just send uh, one more. Yes, we got a sound as well as the notification icon. Get referred and get here. There is some issue with uh, getting the token or the token got updated maybe based on the session. I'm not sure. So that's why we didn't get it last time. So these are all the cases. So if you have open, uh, maybe something like, uh, for example, just open the application. If you are already in the application, it should show here. So as of now, it's not implemented. It's like showing uh, inside app the whole stuff will come 
so image is like kind of a simple you can give some image url uh, which is what i will do uh, that i might in logo i can take So there will be some copy image address will be there right let's see yeah this one i can take it uh, just give it see this logo will come just send a message and wait for the push notification yeah we got it and we got an image also so here what and all you need to check you need to check the logo and title and uh, which time we got now we have got as well as the title description as well as image and uh, sending one more and just see how it will begin see one more we got second notification that club one is maybe club is not it done or uh, if you are sending after two minutes or three minutes we should uh, we should check like how many notification we have got it okay these are all some cases it might be helpful see we have get we are getting three maybe there should be some option to club okay that image if you have, if you have uploaded some other uh, image uh, we can see it here okay when you are clicking it it should go to the application sure it should not crash or uh, uh, i have faced some issue uh, when i am sending a push notification the application got crashed so there might be some issue like uh, because they have called uh, some different broadcaster or something like that. So when I'm sending, it got crashed when we have opened the application. So this kind of issues, like issues you can, uh, you you may get. So this is somehow I'm, somehow I'm able to show. This is how we can test before release. Okay. After release anyway, like it's a, uh, we can, we can just do one smoke like this, like after release. Before release, these are the stuff you need to check it. Okay. Okay guys, thanks for watching my video and uh, if you like my video, please subscribe and we can see some uh, some more session about this uh, uh, Android uh, mobile application testing related stuff. Okay, please uh, put into the comments if you have any doubt or if you, if you need any content related. Okay, thanks for watching.